Hello and welcome to BIM 360 Basics. Hopefully you've watched the previous video which gives you an overview of the Extended Access Program. If not, I've included a link in the description below. So how does the Extended Trial apply to you? Well, if you're a new customer who's been invited to a project by someone else, simply sign up for the trial. That's covered in the next video. Now when you sign up for a trial, you'll get your own account which means that you can create your own projects. But if all you need to do is join someone else's project, there's no need to do that. Just watch for their invitation in your email and follow the instructions that it contains. Now, if you're a new customer who needs to host your own projects, start by signing up for the trial. Then you can set up your first project. I recommend checking out my BIM 360 Design Day 1 video series to walk you through the process of creating and setting up your first project. The link is in the description below. So what about the people you want to invite to your project? In short, simply invite them. If a person that you invite to your project has their own BIM 360 design license, they can bring it with them. If they don't, they will automatically be enrolled in their own trial, which will last until May 31st, just like yours. Now that only applies if you yourself have signed up for a trial. So what if you already have BIM 360 design and you want more people in your company to have access to it? Have those individuals sign up for their own trials and they can bring their subscriptions with them, just as if they were someone outside your company. A really important note, if people in your company or organization are signing up for trials, they will get their own accounts. That means they can create their own projects within those accounts, separate from those in your company account, and that could get messy. Also, you should know that it's not possible to move those projects over to your company account and merge them in. So. Make sure your employees are not creating projects on their own personal accounts, unless for some reason you really want them to. So what's next? If you're ready to sign up for the trial and dig in, watch the next video, which will walk you through the trial process. After that, if you're ready to dive in and create your first project, check out the BIM 360 Design Day 1 video series. I've provided the link in the description below along with some other links that contain some really useful information. Thanks for visiting BIM 360 Basics. Keep checking back for more tips, tricks, and tutorials, all having to do with BIM 360.